Shelter Pets Rock 2. <laughs> Up. It's Mel Taylor and a look at your rock news this week. First of all, I will start it off on a very sad note. Tribute today goes out to bassist Mike Starr, the original from Alice in Chains. Unfortunately, he was found dead. Uh, the suspected drug overdose in Salt Lake City in a home. He did third celebrity rehab, I believe, that season. And uh, one of the worst I think I've ever seen. Just him going through withdrawal phase was awful. He was also on Sober House. And the sad thing, I think, is that he kept saying over and over again, you know, I don't want to go out like Lane Staley did. I don't want to die from a drug overdose. And unfortunately, that's what took his life in the end. He was replaced back in, I think, 93 by Mike Inez. All right, ACDC is going to release a new concert DVD and Blu-ray on May the 10th. It's called Live at River Place. It was filmed back in 09, and it was done in Argentina. And I guess once ACDC kind of finishes up whatever promotion is necessary for this DVD Blu-ray, they're going to take a much-needed extended break. These guys just keep going and going. All right, so once Green Day's frontman Billy Joe wrapped up his run as St. Jimmy in their Broadway musical American Idiot, ticket sales took a serious nosedive. When Billy Joe finished up his 50-show run at the end of February, they were making like $1.3 million in the box office for the week. And then when he was done, he dropped down to lower than $400 thousand dollars so that project could probably soon be done on Broadway. The Chemical Brothers have written and recorded the score for a new film called Hannah. The 20 song tunes will be available on iTunes March 15th and the movie hits theaters on April 8th. Unfortunately I don't know any more about the movie. I follow some random people on Twitter and uh, Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails just happens to be one. He said he is uh, resurrecting Nine Inch Nails. He's not done. He posted on the blog that uh, the band's not dead and while there won't be any more live shows, he's going to continue to record as the Nails and happy to say that is actually his next project. I love me some NIN. Now more Jimi Hendrix reissues are on the way and that's because, you know what, the experience, I guess, extravaganza is doing very well. Uh, Jimi Hendrix records last year sold over 1 million, so they just keep putting out more reissues. They are putting out an all-star tribute album. It's called Power of Soul. It's got like 16 Hendrix tracks and all these awesome rockers from Eric Clapton to Sting, Santana, Prince, Lenny Kravitz, and others are all rocking out on that new tribute album. Also look for a new edition of 97's South Saturn Delta. It was kind of a career-spanning retrospect of... Uh, Jimi Hendrix, that's probably cool. And finally, a new DVD edition of Band of Gypsies. This is live for, uh, I guess, from the Fillmore East. You can look for all of that cool stuff out on April the 12th. Now, Soundgarden has uh, come out and said, hey, we're ready to go back in the studio. Chris Cornell said it's about that time. However, don't expect anything out so soon. You can uh, go to their website, soundgardenworld.com, and you can sign up, and you get the email around kind of their progression, what they have going on, if they're doing any secret shows. He said, though, you know what? There's no, like, necessity to get it out just so soon, but they do have a live CD coming out soon on March the 22nd. It's called Live on I-5, and that was filmed back in 1996 when they did put out their last album. Now, even though the solo EP for Aaron Lewis has been released, it's a country sound. I mean, on the CD, you've also got George Jones and Charlie Daniels. Well, he said he's going to go out, do a small little tour, Mr. Aaron Lewis, and then he said he's getting back in the studio with Stained by the summertime. They'll have a new CD out by the end of the year. But if you think it's going to be some slow ballads, a little couple skating of sorts songs, yeah, not so much. He said it's probably going to be their heaviest album so far, and it will be their seventh studio album. If you want to check out some more music news, you can find me at iHeartRadio.com. Just keyword in the little box, put in Mel, or you can also shoot me over an email, mel at iHeartRadio.com. Shelter Pets Rock 2.